Okay, so Egyptian level, I think we'll only just keep this on for another week. Um, your timing wasn't quite right in the left hand and I felt that you were rushing your right hand just a little bit. So try to keep control of your fingers as much as possible. I know it's not easy to keep them um, one shape, but try not to let them fall on the notes. You need to be placing them on the notes. So you're always in control of your fingers, not the other way around, if that makes sense. So playing from the beginning. go through that counting again it's just those places in the left hand they were too slow when you were playing them um, and try to keep I mean my hand is quite set it's doing that there's a little bit of give but you know I'm not moving the fingers around okay so try to keep them as still as possible then you won't lose the spacing between the two lower notes and the right hand we've already mentioned Trying to keep your fingers in one place on the piano. Okay, for that first um, little bit. And I think there's a little bit of confusion when you move to the next one because you automatically put your finger on the two black keys because that's what you've just had in the first instance. But on the second entry, of course, it comes back because the second finger is on a white note. So you need to register in your mind that you're playing two white notes first, then the black note, all right? It's easy for the fingers to do it all by themselves without you sort of giving them any instruction at all. They quite easily do their own thing. So always be careful. The second line is again, the second entry is diff very different, isn't it? All right, you've got three white notes, then a black note. So try and think um, in those sort of terms. Then if we carry on with your low G here. I think you were sometimes hitting another black key there. Again, I think it's because you play a, um, a black key with the fourth finger there, but not in that bar. And I think that's where the hand gets confused the, you know the hand is learning it by itself without you telling it what to do so you've got to be more aware of what your fingers are doing and which fingers are doing it so here it's the two and the three not the four the four is playing a white note so you've got to be aware of that and then we looked at the turn I need to see the turn Although you're only going a very small distance, a semitone, there wasn't really any movement, so you were tending to hit the wrong key. So you, like we learn in scales, when you turn your thumb under, you really should be twisting and pushing the thumb under, even if it's only a little way, because it's still got to travel beyond your fourth finger. So if you don't do any sort of movement to help that, because it can't physically by itself reach, so you have to help it by turning the hand to get it under. So make sure you do that physical movement. Turn. Three, two on the black keys. One, two. Play this very gently. We haven't really done the dynamics, but the ending is meant to be very, very quiet. So make it as quiet and atmospheric as you can.